ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So, speaking, because remember that stream where I was talking about, you know, Unk and Few? Um, we we're also talking about Sweetie, right? She had dropped that um, EP. And in that EP, you know, she was taking shots at Quavo and everything else. And I remember one of the comments was like, her album's going to go triple wood or something like that. And I was like, if it do, it do. If it don't, it don't. It makes me know, never mind, okay? I'm not an icicle or whatever she calls her fans. The snowflakes, the icicles. Child, I'll be posting little snow emojis. Um, so, you know, it makes me no difference. But this was embarrassing. She sold 2,000 copies, and everybody has been talking about this on um, social media. And Sunny Digital had a lot to say about the situation. So I want to go ahead and share my screen really quick here. Oh, oh is it going to pull it up automatically? Okay, here we go. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. It's weird because I have to do two different things. Like if I want to play audio, you have to hit something different versus like a regular screen. I don't like how they change this up on um on what you might call it on StreamYard. Okay, so this is Sunny Digital. So he says this: 13 million followers, hundreds and thousands of likes on all pictures, but albums sold less than 2,000 copies. That's crazy. The math ain't adding up. He then goes on to say, if I had a million followers, if I had millions of followers and my album sold 2K, I probably would just delete all my social medias because somebody is lying to me. Somebody else. So, uh, then he also said, before I came here, I gave my opinion. I did listen to the album. I actually listened to everything that dropped that day just out of curiosity to see what the competition was on. Okay. So, Sweetie sold 2,000 copies. And so, this is what I wrote on Instagram. I said this. The problem is most of these folks are built by the label. They don't have real fans. Many of these followers are bought and paid for. They spend more time showing how pretty they are rather than putting work and time into their craft. Old school artists had to do countless shows to build a buzz and an authentic fan base who actually went out and brought their and bought their albums in the store. All these new fans have to do is stream it on their phones, and a majority of them can't even do that. Folks don't be having real fans. They just have nosy followers. Once people learn the difference, they will adjust accordingly. So that was my thought on that. Uh, Sweetie also ended up clapping back at, somebody, at a few people who were coming at her for her lack of album sales. Let me see if I can find that. I was looking at that earlier. Yeah, this industry is such smoke and mirrors. Um, Don Tolliver is currently going through his controversy where Atlantic Records is being accused of faking his streams. When his um, newest video dropped recently, I thought I had the Sweetie article. I'm not seeing it. Dang it. She was kind of clapping back too, but um, I don't know where it's at. Let me show y'all this Don Tolliver article. So Don Tolliver dropped his recent um, music video on uh, YouTube and they're accusing him and little Uzi of buying um, streams. And so what happened is that this person, <coughs> basically said, Don Tolliver, or more like Cactus Jack, is shamelessly botting fake YouTube views and comments on his new single. It's painfully obvious. This person, Bryce, was the first person to announce it on Twitter, and he went viral. Somebody from Atlantic got that account suspended. They were suspended within a matter of a few hours, 
And when people looked into their account, they hadn't violated terms of services. They weren't threatening anybody. They weren't being disrespectful. Um, they just hurried up and they deleted their account. So I ended up going to Don Tolliver's and it was just a bunch of bots. Um, here go some screenshots. They said Uzi was botting too. We can't play the music. But do y'all see all these comments? There's not even real comments. It's just emojis, ABCs. Um, so people have really been calling out a lot of these um, record labels. So I think that's the problem that's going on with not only uh, Sweetie, but a lot of these artists is that their fan bases are not real. And when you're buying fan bases and you're buying followers, I'm not saying all, right? But she has about 4 million followers. Who was to say that out of those 4 million people that they're really people? Remember I talked about this a few streams ago that there's a theory that 90% of the internet is fake. Most of the time, the folks that you're arguing with and going back and forth with online, a lot of those people aren't even real. Even in my comment section, there are bots. There's a bot now in my comment section pretending to be me, telling folks, come on WhatsApp and get some crypto, I'll give you a free gift. And so a few of my Discorders started tagging me like, T, are you giving away free gifts on, on Telegraph? I said, the devil is a lie. So don't y'all fall for that shit. If I'm giving y'all a free gift, I don't need y'all to follow me on Telegraph and all this goofy stuff. I'm going to reach out to you, get your information and send you a free gift. So, and there, it's happening to all the YouTubers. And you'll see it in my comment. They have my picture and they're trying to send everybody to these crypto farms, you know? So don't, and then they, once you go there, you join the Telegraph, they're going to say, oh, tea sipper, please send me, you know, $500 <laughs> and then I'll send you a free gift. If y'all fall for that mess, I'm sorry. You deserve to lose $500. Do not send anybody your money on some cryptocurrency thing, okay? I'm never gonna drag you from YouTube and, and bring you onto Telegraph for private conversations. Don't nobody even know my Telegraph, it's private. I mean, I have one, but I only have like nine people on there that I talk to. Shout out to my Telegraph group, and that's it. It's not even like for the public to find me. So um, don't fall for those spams, those bots. But I say that to say this, is that, a majority of these people's followers are botted. They're bot. There's a whole business of people buying followers, bots, views, and everything else. Okay? Trust me, if I wanted to get to a million subscribers tomorrow, I could easily do it by buying followers. A lot of YouTubers have done this. You have YouTubers who fake their streams. They'll act like they have thousands of people in their live, but the way they comment section looks, it don't look like you have 9,000 people in here because your comment section ain't commenting. There's literally 10 people talking, but you're, you have 8,000 people in the stream? I think not. So for me, I don't have the energy to fake anything. These are my real views, my real streams, real chats, real conversations. You're not seeing people in my chat just posting A, B, you know, you're not seeing that. Now you will see these weird barbs come out the blue and post their unicorns, but even those barbs are real. Okay, now that I mentioned their name, you'll start seeing unicorns. They're real because they're actually watching and listening. But um, it, it's very interesting because now you can make a celebrity. You don't have to go through the same nuances that these people used to have to go through back in the day to be a celebrity, to get a hit. Now you can just go viral and then they'll make you a celebrity. They did that with Bad Baby. She went from cash me outside to literally being on the billboard. We're now seeing that with Ice Spice, you know, sweet girl, but Munch is like the shortest song I've ever heard. You know, it's, it's a cute bop, but the, the hype is crazy. So did she really get that hype naturally or was it starting to create a buzz? And then the bot, you know, the, 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 the bots came to hype it up even more. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that's what happened, but you just never know. A lot of things that go viral are not necessarily organic. Y'all can stop with the unicorns now. 
Y'all be doing the most. Please stop for y'all get blocked. Um, <laughs> we get it. Okay. Um, but a lot of things are not organic. So I think what is going on with sweetie is that she don't really have as many fans as she thinks she has. And the other problem is too, I think celebrities are doing too much nowadays. When we were growing up, right? You were famous for a particular reason. If you were a singer, you were a singer. If you were a rapper, you were a rapper. If you were an actor, you were an actor. If you were on television, you were a television actor, a movie actor. Everybody had their categories. But the problem now is that everything is so convoluted. Oh, yeah. And, and if you weren't 5'11 and, and, and a bad bitch, you were not considered a model. Now anybody can be a model, IG model, fetish model. Like the celebrity has been so bastardized now. Anybody can be a celebrity. So the problem is back then we had categories, right? So you had the singer, the rapper, the model, uh, the actor, and they really didn't mix. You kind of stayed in your lane and you were praised for what you did in your lane. We knew that if, you know, Biggie dropped an album, we were going to get the album because he was a rapper. If, you know, Drew Hill dropped some new music, we're going to go get it because they were singers. But the problem now is you have rappers like Sweetie and others. She's a rapper. She's a model. Uh, you know, she's selling McDonald's. They're doing so much. So when people are following, what are they really following for? Are they following for your music? Are they following because they like your new McDonald's hamburger? Or are they following because you're a bad bitch with a cute body and a pretty face and you're their favorite Instagram model? So that's the problem. You have people who are following people, but they're not following them for what they were introduced to us as, which is musicians. So I think that's the problem that's going on with Sweetie. You know, and her whole thing is, well, it doesn't matter if I sold, I'm pretty. Well, nobody cares if you're pretty, ma'am. That goes without saying. We all, we get it. You're pretty, right? Um, there's a lot of pretty people out here, but that goes without saying the point is you're a rapper. Okay. So people shouldn't just be following you because you're pretty. They should be following you because they like your music and they support your music. But because everything is so convoluted, you have people who are following for different reasons and they're not really there for the music. They're there for the French fries and the barbecue sauce. <laughs> So yeah, the, the new, um, you know, this new wave of influencer and celebrity, it's very different, you know, and I think this is why you're not seeing as many, you know, album sales, you know, genuine album sales. And I think this is why these record labels are having to do a lot of sneaky shit to inflate numbers. You know, they have whole streaming farms. Um, I was shocked because I didn't even know all this stuff existed. But they have whole streaming farms where they have like, you know, just tons of cell phones, just different cell phones, and they're all streaming the same music. Um, I remember a year and a half ago, people were complaining on Instagram, no, excuse me, on Twitter, that their phones were automatically playing French Montana. Who remembers this? This went viral about a year or so ago. <coughs> yes, Raya, J. Cole did say that, people faking their streams. About a year ago, French Montana had dropped a new single. I want to say it was with Post Malone. I might be wrong. And usually, you know, when Post Malone gets on something, it's going to, you know, it's going to go. Post Malone makes good music, right? Uh, this wasn't hitting the way it was supposed to hit. So somebody, allegedly, they were saying it was somebody from the record label, was hacking into people's Spotify accounts and playing that song. People's phones would be sitting here and would start playing French Montana. There was whole threads. Do y'all remember that? It was whole threads on Twitter. Yeah. People's phones would just start playing French Montana. Well, I'm not listening. What the hell? Who is this? And people are like, why is my music, why is my Spotify playing French Montana? When they didn't even have, they weren't even on the Spotify app. So they're even saying that there's ways where they can hack into your streaming service, you know, Apple, Spotify, Google, all that stuff, and act like you're the one streaming the music 
but you're not really streaming it. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. It happened about like a year or so ago. Okay. Yeah, he was accused of hacking. Y'all know how to forget shit. I might mispronounce some words. I might call Gorilla Glozilla, but I don't forget shit. Let me go ahead and pull this up. I know I wasn't going crazy. It was French Montana. He was accused of hacking people's Spotify. Show y'all this article. No, I wasn't going crazy. It was French. This was from 2020. French Montana accused of hacking Spotify accounts to boost streaming numbers. Who remembers that? Twitter user is alleging that Epic Records is buying fake Spotify streams. At the beginning of the new year, Twitter user at Carl did some digging about French Montana's single, Writing on the Wall. The track, figured, the track features two Grammy-nominated rappers, Post Malone and Cardi B. French Montana's out here buying streams in a desperate attempt to turn his three-month-old flop song into a hit. <laughs> um, let me see if this thread is still... They might have took the thread down, child. Let's see if it's still active. Look, they suspended the account. Wow. Y'all see that? The account is suspended. How come everybody who ends up blasting these labels... Their accounts get suspended, just like that other account I was just talking about. Isn't that interesting? So earlier in the stream, I was telling y'all about some BDSM man who was, you know, duct tape with his, with his, you know, schlong just flopping around and people were pulling out it and shit. That's sitting on Twitter till this day. But anybody who's caught out these streaming farms and people, you know, hacking and playing with these numbers, they're suspended. Don't y'all find that suspicious? Child, it's time for me to go. <laughs> Woo! Yes, I remember that. Yeah, they silenced that boy. That ain't right. French Montana out here hacking people's damn Spotify accounts to get his music streaming. I'm not trying to listen to that shit. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mm. It's a mess. I'm so glad I remembered that. I be forgetting some shit, but certain things I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was French. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.